Famous for its museums, beaches, attractions and food, Valencia is one of the best places to visit in Spain. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the things to know before you go to Valencia. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit. Valencia has a Mediterranean climate, meaning it is pleasant all year and sees around 300 days of sunshine. April and May are the best months to visit Valencia. It offers warm weather but less crowds. The weather during the winter is comfortable, making November to March a very popular time for visitors. However, museums do have shorter hours and more rural restaurants close during these months, so plan accordingly. If possible, avoid June to October unless you plan on avoiding the sights and sticking to the sunbathing. Just make sure to get a hotel with a nice pool as the beaches can get crowded during these months as well. So now let's look at getting there. As a major transportation hub for Spain, Valencia is easy to travel to. Taking the train to Valencia is easy with regional, national and international trains stopping in the city. You could catch a high-speed train from Madrid taking around an hour and a half or catch a three-hour train from Barcelona. Many choose to fly into Valencia's airport with direct flights available for most major European cities as well as a few cities in the US. You could also drive to the city or take the hourly bus from Madrid with the trip taking around 4 hours. So now let's look at getting around. The easiest way to get around is by metro, with metro stations reaching out as far as the Valencia airport. The underground light rail system is reliable and has a popular train line that travels from the northwest of the city to the seaside. You could use the bus, it is less reliable than the metro but does take you to destinations further away including the nearby towns. You could also choose to use the city's bike rental service with around 300 stations in Valencia, but avoid driving. Streets are narrow and parking is a challenge. So now let's look at the typical prices. There are plenty of hostels available in Valencia, but many are not in the heart of the city. However, for those on a budget, these are great options with dorms starting at around 25 euros. Mid-range hotels start at 90, whilst 4 and 5 star hotels in the city centre begin at 200 euros. The average meal in Valencia costs around 13 euros, with breakfast costing under 8 euros. The underground metro system is split into zones, with single trips starting at 1 euro 50. So Valencia can be expensive, but as always there are some ways that you can save money and visit Valencia on a budget. The Old Market is one of the best places to visit in the city and is always a great place to pick up food. Valencia is known for its beaches, so spend a day on the beach to have a fairly inexpensive but relaxing day. There are five free museums in Valencia that you can visit and you can also choose to take a free walking tour around the new town. You should also get yourself a Valencia tourist card for free entry to attractions as well as free travel on the bus, metro and tram services. We will leave the link in the description below. So now let's look at the best things to do. One of the most unique buildings in Valencia is the City of the Arts and Sciences, making this a must-see attraction. Inside, families should also head to the Oceanarium with around 45,000 individual animals from 500 different species. Explore the UNESCO site of La Lonia de la Seda, a 15th century Gothic building. You could also visit the Valencia Cathedral or take a stroll around the Jardin del Turia. Watch this video to find out the best cities to visit in Spain. Then, to learn how to save money in Spain, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in Valencia and stay creative.